virtual reality may make you think of video games, but some medical professionals are using the technology to treat patients with some very real conditions. For Michael Rosenwig, air travel used to induce anxiety so much that sometimes he would actually get off the plane before takeoff. So when he found out about a trial to face his fear using virtual reality... I jumped at the opportunity. After several sessions with a virtual reality headset combined with therapy and an abundance of reading material about the safety of air travel, he says he was cured. I was amazed. I was gratified. I attributed that to the virtual reality therapy. Now some doctors are using virtual reality reality for treatment of a host of different phobias, including driving, fear of heights, fear of needles and blood draws, fear of bugs like spiders. Dr. Elizabeth McMahon says virtual reality is a useful tool because it lets patients confront what scares them gradually in a controlled setting with the guidance of a trained therapist. We can individualize this to be most effective for exactly what you need to get over your fear. And the use of virtual reality in medicine goes beyond phobias. The range of areas include psychological treatments, cognitive assessment and rehabilitation, physical therapy is a big area. Dr. Skip Rizzo is the director of medical virtual reality at the Institute for Creative Technologies. His work includes using virtual reality in the treatment of veterans with post-traumatic stress disorder. Using virtual reality to recreate the scenes or the context in which a trauma may have occurred and this, in this fashion, we can put people back in these simulations and help them to confront and process very difficult emotional memories. But how can it work if patients know it's just a simulation? Dr. Rizzo says it's all about the way our brains function. Even though at some level the patient knows I'm in a virtual reality world, I'm not in the real world, the brain still reacts to it as if it's the real world. He points out, though, the technology alone isn't enough for treatment. You're never going to divorce the clinician from the treatment. This is just a tool to extend the skills of a well-trained clinician. As for Michael, he recommends virtual reality to anyone struggling to get over a fear. I'm a million miler. I fly all the time. Him, certainly. Wow. Dr. Rizzo credits the gaming industry for bringing the development of this new technology into kind of everyday use in some cases. He says now that it's more readily available, he expects the use of virtual reality technology and medicine to really take off. And when you see that report, I think you understand yep. why. It can help what, a lot of people. What if you have a fear of virtual reality? Homeless? That's a problem. <laughs> That's a problem. <laughs> so